Colossal ice sheets, up to 2,000 meters thick, spread across the continent, covering Siberia, Scandinavia, and Scotland. We now know how far south the ice sheet reached, thanks to evidence found in some surprising places. During the construction of the London Underground in the late 19th century, scientists unearthed unusual sediment patterns in the very center of London. They revealed that the edge of the northern ice sheet was more or less here, at the Finchley Road tube station. Just imagine how London might have looked about half a million years ago, when the ice ages were at their most extreme. Other glacial deposits indicate that the edge of the ice spanned the European continent. Touching on Amsterdam, and also Berlin. A freeze-up of this scale will change the whole shape of a continent. This is the North Sea, off the coast of Holland. Although this may seem a normal fishing trip, these Dutch trawlermen aren't after soul or place. They're actually scientists on an unusual mission, in search of a far more intriguing catch. Among the piles of starfish, crabs, and driftwood, they find the long submerged remains of a far larger animal. When bones like these were first hauled out more than a century ago, they were presented to a local doctor for identification. He declared them to be clear evidence of Noah's flood. Whatever your belief about Noah, the doctor was right about the flood because these are the bones of land animals. Massive ones at that. Woolly mammoths. What are they doing in the middle of the North Sea? During the Ice Ages, the sea level was around 100 meters lower than today. Back then, the North Sea was all dry land. Its water locked up in the ice sheets to the north and in mountain glaciers. These mammoth bones tell us something else. Not all of Europe was buried in ice. The North Sea was one vast green valley, a tundra. <laughs> 